Hi, this is Lindsay Taylor, and I'd like to show you how to use Activity Builder in Smart Notebook 11 specifically for the Music Classroom. If you've never seen a lesson in Activity Builder before, it's really neat. It's a new feature of Smart Notebook 2011, and it allows lessons like this. This is a sorting activity. I have half notes, quarter notes, and then I have a variety of musical notation down here. Cool thing about this is that you can program the screen to deny or accept different items. Obviously this one won't go in either. Quarter notes will only go into the quarter note and half notes will only go here. If I try to put a half note over the quarter notes it snaps well back. Well, how do I do that? It's easier than you think. Okay, so go ahead up to the top of the page and add a page. And let's just start with a basic background. Right click, set background. You can have a solid fill, gradient, make it look pretty, a pattern, woo, or your own image. I like solid fills. Um, a lighter color is going to work nice. Mm, this will be pretty. All right, once I'm here, I need two items that I could sort to. So it could be two pictures that I choose. I could draw two shapes. I think that's what I'm going to start with first. I'm going to go ahead and make two circles. Get them down here. Make sure they're even. That one can be green. This one can be, let's make it blue. Great. Now I want to decide what to sort. My previous activity had notes, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that in Activity Builder. Go ahead and go to the left, and you have a picture right here. That is Smart Gallery, and it has all these picture content right here. If you go and click on the little tab, it gives you everything in arts, music, you can scroll down, it has history, math, we want to do music, specifically music notes, and so if you click on that, now I have all of these pictures. So let's make this a, let's make it a quarter note and half note sort again, it has different half notes, it has some with ledger lines, I think that's important to put in there so the kids know that that's still a note. Let's go ahead and just pull all these out here that you want. Let's pull in some whole notes, treble clefs. Make them upside down. All right, I think I have enough. Let's throw in a dotted half note to trick the kids. <laughs> so now that I have all of these, how do I make it into a, an activity builder sorting activity? Well, first I want to make sure it's nice and neat. I'll go ahead and make these all the same size or close to. The next thing you want to do is go over to this little puzzle piece. This is your activity builder. And it says, make an object an activity object. So I'm going to go ahead and select this first circle. And let's go ahead, actually, let's write on that so we know what we're doing here. Let's put half notes. I'm going to click over here. Quarter notes. Groovy. All right, so I'm going to click on this circle right here, and I'm going to make that part of the sorting activity. Once it's selected, make this out object and activity object? Sure. Let's go ahead and edit it. You have two boxes here. It's going to accept these objects and reject everything that's right here. So everything that you want to be able to go into the half notes, you're going to put here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag it right here. Click and drag and then it's going to have a little green check mark. Oops. If you don't want it, put it into the reject pile. Those are all of my half notes. Um, it makes it easy right here. You could add all remaining. Done. Done for you. 
Let's go ahead and test it. If I drag that, is it going to, oh yes, it accepts it, wonderful. All right, so let's make this one accept quarter notes. Go ahead and click on it, edit. Let's drag all of the quarter notes. And go ahead and add all remaining to the other. Done. So let's go ahead and test it out again. This should snap back. Excellent. This should accept it. Fabulous. Now, is that all it does is fade in and snap back? No, not at all. Let's say I went to the half notes and I went ahead and went back to edit. I can go to settings. Now settings, it's going to do an animation. Right now, it's just fading out if it's accepting it. But I could have it fly out, snap to the center, or spin. So for example, if you did spin, now when I have a half note go, it spins around and it stays. Settings, fly out, it leaves. So you can choose how it accepts it. You can also choose how it rejects it. So this one right here, settings. If you wanted it to bounce back, oh, I guess that's the only one that we have. Okay, that's all right. Excellent. Okay. All right. If you really want to be impressive, you can actually add sound with it. So say this accepts quarter notes and then it fades. That's nice. But if we click on a quarter note and we go to its properties, one of those properties is sound and you actually click on it and if you have a sound file, you can add it to that picture. You can also record your own sound. You can make the sound a corner icon and when you do that, right in the corner of this is going to be a little, a little volume speaker, just like the bottom of your computer taskbar. Or you can just make the whole object the sound. So let's just do corner icon so you can see what that looks like. I don't have any short sounds, so let's record a sound. Woohoo! Stop recording. Preview recording. Sounds good. Not sure if you can hear that, but sounds good. Sounds like my woohoo and attach recording. And now you see that little volume speaker right there. And now when it goes into there, it says, woohoo. Okay, let's try this one, sound. Yay. Make the object, attach the recording. Oh, forgot to do one thing. You click on this. You can go back to Activity Builder, Edit, Settings, also play the sound. That'll get it to play. There we go. All right, so this has the sound in the corner, and this has the sound. It's just embedded in the object. So if I were to just click it, Yay. same thing. <laughs> or when I put it in there. This is just one of many ways you can use Activity Builder. If you want to explore more, um, the gallery actually has different templates that you can use, Lesson Activity Toolkit and Lesson Activity Examples. If you go into the Activity Builder, it has a ton of different ideas in here and even things that you can modify for your classroom. Really quickly, let me show you one of them that I really in enjoy. Um, here is a sorting activity. So you can make it as simple or as, as complicated as you'd like. And you can do this with rhythms. You can do this with types of notes. You can do this with note names. Um, the main thing is to explore and see how it could be best used to you in your music classroom. All right, thank you for watching my tutorial. I appreciate you watching all the way through. I hope you have a very nice day.